Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to introduce you to Tone Booster's Vocal Pitch Shifter and Doubler plugin. It's really a fantastic tool which you can use of course to do voice pitch shifting but also to announce the characteristic of that voice as I will show you in a moment. Before I continue, I'd like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. And also, please do check the video description just in case the competition is still open to win a copy of this fantastic software. So it comes in free edition, so you can run in, um, inside the Mac OS or Windows OS, but also inside an iPad OS as in this case. And, um, and of course, uh, it's uh, an a UV free plugin and we are going to use it in the fashion inside AUM today. So let's create an audio channel. And the first thing I want to do is actually to uh, create a recording using my voice. And for this, I'm going to run Neil as a recorder, which is really nice tool, setting it on recording mode. And then I'm going to use the, the microphone to record uh, something I will say, like my YouTube channel. Sound for more. Okay, let's stop there. We don't need that the microphone anymore active. So let's click and hold on the loop. Now let's connect the keyboard to Neil. Sound for more. That's Sound nice. for more. Da okay, that's nice. Let's remove the loop now. Let's go nice. Now click and hold on operation. And now, why not? Let's uh, choose some effect and let's have more space here. Let's remove the keyboard um, and maximize the window for now. Click and hold on operation again. Let's go to um, voice vocal noise reduction. Noise reduction. So let's set these to um, apply, close. So let's uh, listen. Sound for more. Okay, that's okay. That's uh, absolutely nice. So now what uh, I would like to do is to normalize it to minus one decibel. So let's try again. Sound for more. Okay, nice. That's good enough. Now let's uh, um, leave that as it is. Now let's double click and add that um, voice um, where it is. Where is it? Here we go. The voice picture. Okay, perfect. So let's open that. As you can see, very nice interface. And uh, you can uh, set here the interface colors. It's really nice. Look at this oyster, uh, mocha latte. There's a lot of different choice here, which is really nice. And they're really nice and clear as a UI. And you can click also on the name to, of course, choose the one that you prefer like so okay but um yeah i'll stick to these ice blue so is a dual pitch shifter you see it says here section a and down here it says section b okay and you activate each section just clicking on them like so here you have a set of preset default uh, selection and interface from tone boosters so you have your library category and then the name of the preset and you click OK and you load one. OK, so up here you have a section for an LFO and you can direct the LFO to your pitch, the delay, the pan and also freeze because it has an option for each of the pitch shifter to freeze the incoming vowels, which is really nice. You can have it running on time or also on sync, clicking here that the note symbol and here is where you select the, the different waveform for your LFO and you have lots of selection it is really really nice including of course some like noise uh, um etc etc gate and different type of gates decays randomization etc etc so you have a lot of different possibility there you can also adjust the phase there as well here you have an equalizer and you just move up and down. Okay, really nice. And then here you can mix with this dial the, what is coming from the first section A and also what is coming from the section B. 
And then here you have also the another LFO, okay, which you can apply for section B. So these LFO apply for section A. Okay, down here you have, uh, and le actually let me maxim, well, no, let's leave the keyboard down here in this way. So down here for each of the pitch shifter, you have formant correction here, okay? And in measuring in percentage, here you can adjust the uh, pitch shift. Then you can adjust the, which is sorry, is in semitones. You can adjust the tuning sense. You can add some delay and also you can uh, set the pan. And you can do this for this section and also for the other section down here. Now, the nice thing is that you can create a snapshot of, how, of the settings and then you can go to another snapshot and you can change the setting and then you can move from one to the other, which is really nice when it comes to live performance. So let's try. So let's listen again to what we recorded. Sound for more. So listen, let's move up the pitch. Sound for more. Almost sound a little bit cartoony, right? And of course, if you go up by seven semitones here, and then on section B, we go up, I don't know, by three. Let's listen. You have some harmony. Sound for more. Which is really nice. We can also decide to change the pan direction like so right sound for more so hopefully if you have headphones you can hear i have redirected section a more to the left and section b more to the right and of course you can also add the delay sound for more which makes it more spatial sound for more which is really really nice indeed and of course you can lower the pitch as well so let me show you let's work still only with section a and let's lower the pitch now let's put it to the center double click and this is really nice because you can create some really interesting effect so imagine that you record a line from a famous movie and then you apply that effect actually let's try for fun a little bit let's go to new recorder let's go to the menu select a new recording abandon the change let's say still stereo that's fine now uh, let's activate the microphone again and let's record something else i, I will, will find, find you. you if you remember, remember that, that uh, um, famous, famous line, line from, from uh, 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 deactivated the microphone. That famous line from the Taken movie. So let's listen again. I will find you. And indeed, you can use this and apply, for example, an LFO, and just design, for example, from uh, a noise um, type of waveform, applying on the pitch or maybe on the delay and suddenly you have a very interesting effect. I will find you. And it is really, really cool. And there are some presets that uh, already do that. Let's listen to this anonymizer. I will find you. And let's listen now to something like a four chord. I will find you. Really nice. And let's uh, apply a vocal doubler. I will find you. Really nice as well. So as you can hear, you have a lot of different effects that you can uh, apply. I will find you. And let me show you what happens when you move from one snapshot to the other. So, I will find you. I will find you. I will find you. I will find you. So you can hear a load different uh, um, snapshot for the same. So let's go again up and search for that uh, uh, anonymizer, anonymizer, where is it? Here we go. And let's load that again. I will find you. 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 
So as you can hear, you can apply different effects. And of course, remember, you still have this equalizer here that you can use. I will find you. And indeed, you can freeze also what is coming in. So let's try. I will find you. Really nice. And indeed, if you apply the LFO to the freeze. I will find you. Let's increase it. So you can hear that you can have uh, lots of fun with uh, with the application. It's really cool. I really like actually to take some of the movie lines and apply the right effect. Of course, you can run these also with for instrument as well. So you can take an instrument which uh, has a preset which has vocal and then apply also the voice picture through that. But I find that uh, it works best uh, when you have recorded your own voice. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the demonstration. See you at the next video. Bye.